topping contestants in the second round of the Miss America Talent Competition in a swimsuit-clad Miss Texas scores honors in the lifestyle and fitness category. So make sure Miss America update Kevin Willie as we bring you in for News Extra this morning. And our News Extra program today brought to you by Daring Civic Center. All right, Dan, thanks. Rather fitting that you talked about the Miss America pageant. Of course, we're going to have, as I mentioned, uh, we'll have, uh, she'll be the former Miss America, as Denny mentioned, uh, when she is here on Tuesday on this program. But we'll be talking to Teresa Scanlon about her year and a number of fundraising activities uh, she is going to be taking part in in the month of February. And we're kind of getting a little bit of a jump on that here today because one of those involves the Cirrus House. And that's why we have uh, Brent Anderson and Denise Manuel here. And they're going to talk about you guys. Brent, as you mentioned outside, you get her you get her first, huh, on February 7th. Yes, we lucked out, and we are really looking forward to having her at our event. Um, we've put together a really exciting event that we hope will appeal to a wide range of people. Um, on February 7th, which is a Tuesday, we're, we're going to be having, uh, beginning at 4 o'clock, we'll have a meet and greet at the Civic Center in the lobby area. Teresa will be available at that point in time. Uh, if you wanted to come and get your picture taken with her, bring your own camera, pay $5, um, and you get to get your picture taken with Teresa at that time. And then for ticket holders, we'll be opening the doors around 6 o'clock, and that's when the main event will start. And your ticket will get you in to a great evening of entertainment. Um, you'll get a dinner, and the end of the evening will include a performance by Teresa Scanlon playing the piano. Um, we'll have some really exciting auction packages that we'll be auctioning off and some real exciting raffle items. Um, this falls exactly one week before uh, Valentine's Day, so um, it would be great to come and get a, maybe a raffle item or win a raffle, raffle item or a package. Uh, might make a great Valentine's Day present for somebody. Sounds good. Sounds good. All that on February 7th over at the Civic Center. Now, uh, Denise is in charge of tickets here. You're in charge of selling tickets, am I right? Yes, I'm going to be fundraising. Okay. All right. So how much are the tickets? The tickets are one for eighteen fifty, or two for thirty dollars, and we're also going to have some corporate tables. That um, I'm not sure. We'll have a limited number of corporate tables. That'll uh, they're three hundred dollars. It'll be ten tech tickets. And that is premier seating uh, up front, and they'll all have some extras at the table for the corporate tables. Um, we're working on possibly like a couple of bottles of wine and some other um, gifts for people that sit at the corporate tables. Wow, that's pretty nice. So I understand uh, you'll have the tickets ready here relatively soon, huh? They're um, in the process of being put together, and we're hopefully going to get a Monday and start mm -hmm. selling on that day. Infinite Graphics has designed the ticket for us, and they've got them on order, and they should be here Monday or Tuesday. I'd really like to take time to thank some of our sponsors. Um, putting together a big event like this, um, there are some costs associated with it, and a lot of time. Um, and Team uh, Toyota and Chevrolet, they were, were one of our sponsors, and I'd just like to thank Kent for his devotion to Sears House and helping us out. Um, Valley Bank, John Stinner, actually not only donated some uh, money to help us out, but he also donated Amy Dahl, who is their uh, marketing person, and she's been real active on our fundraising committee. Uh, First State Bank is one of our sponsors, and also Platte Valley Bank has been one of our sponsors, and we'd just like to give a shout out to them, and please encourage everybody to uh, visit them with your uh, local business. All right. We'll talk more about it right after this 30-second timeout. These tough economic times require a All right, we'll start talking value. about some of these packages. Just that, for yeah. professional staff to assist in event planning and room layout, and the we have a, a night selection. stay and a dinner at the old Corral in Centennial, Wyoming, Oh, really? And a $50 gas, gas card to go along with that. So it's right outside of Laramie. We got some really good stuff. All right, we are back with Brent Anderson and Denise Manuel. They're talking about uh, the Cirrus House fundraiser on 
February 7th over at the Gearing Civic Center. And as we mentioned, uh, uh, Teresa Scanlon will be there just uh, just a couple of days, just three days. Uh, well, actually, no, that's that's this Tuesday with us. But but she'll be there February 7th, um, one of her first uh, fundraising events uh, in that month here locally. And uh, you guys have a number of, of uh, silent auction and live auction packages. Uh, let's go over those. Those are pretty amazing. Yeah, we've got a wide selection of different things that have been donated for either raffle or our live auction items. And we've got a lot of feedback from people who have done other auctions. And one of the feedbacks we got was don't have a really long, drawn-out auction. So what we have done is put together some really um, exciting auction packages. So the highest bidder gets the whole package. For example, we have a golf package put together, a massive golf cart has donated the use of a brand new golf cart for a year and the country club has donated a three month um, membership for a family golf and they've also donated uh, three months uh, to park the golf cart there free of charge. Um, Budweiser threw in a golf bag, some golf balls and golf tees. We've got some pro golf lessons and we're still working on getting some tickets to the Senior Open in Omaha this year. We haven't got those confirmed yet, but we're hoping that those will come through as well. So that's one, just one package that you can bid on. Um, we have a collector's package, which will include some original art pieces. Um, one, of the, one of the pieces is by artist Chuck Gillies, and it's an original piece. Uh, it's like a $1,200 painting that's going to be in that package. Um, we also have a local artist who has done a portrait of... Miss America, Teresa Scanlon, with her crown on, and again the bidder or the winner of that package will actually get the picture signed to them by Teresa Scanlon. Um, we've got a whole bunch of other items. I've, I've got a whole list here, and don't probably yeah. have enough time to hit them all. Yeah, all right. You got a man cave uh, one, and you've got a yes. trip to Laramie to the uh, old, uh, what corral old corral in Centennial, in Centennial Wyoming. Wyoming with a fifty dollar uh, gas card and all that stuff. Uh, just briefly, we got about a minute to go here, so uh, let's talk about, obviously these funds go to Cirrus House, anything specific you guys are going to use the funds or just for general operations? This is for general operations. This is our annual fundraiser. You might remember last year we did a fundraiser with uh, Mr. Joe Hands, uh, came in and helped us do a fundraiser. But it's also for us to help create awareness of who Cirrus House is, what we do, and the important work that we do in the community. Um, but all funds will go to support Sears House and all of the services that we do. All right, very good. So uh, get with Denise. Uh, then you can call uh, over at the Sears House next Monday or Tuesday, maybe uh, middle of next week. She should have the tickets ready to go over at the Sears House. <coughs> you can uh, start buying some tickets. Eighteen fifty single, thirty dollars for a couple, three hundred dollars limited number of corporate tables. All right, you guys. Just want to throw in, we have some jewelry items that have been donated. We have some interesting items such as uh, passes to the Dr. Phil show that have been donated, uh, VIP passes. So we have, again, a wide variety of very interesting items. Please come and support us and, and try your hand at winning one of these things. All right, have some fun. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Back to you, Dan.